Hey guys, it's Crystal from Pure Photoshop Actions, and just really fast, I wanted to show you a new product, pro product oh, that we're launching, and we are super excited about this. Between Rachel and I, we have 11 kids and counting, and we wanted to um, try to find a way, we're constantly looking for ways to um, mainstream our workflow and make things faster so we can spend more time with our family since we, all, we have a photography business and a actions business. And so one of the things that we were always spending so much time on was album design. And it's the company that we love. We just absolutely love our albums, but they don't have very many pre-made design templates inside of their design software and their ordering software. And so we were finding ourselves spending a lot of time designing these albums and then not being able to save these pages that we had manipulated inside their software. And so the next time we came in to create another album, we had to start all over again. And so when we were trying to think of ways to speed this up, we knew that there just had to be a way to do it inside of Lightroom. And so we found it. So what we do is what you're going to do is you're going to come into your print module right here. And after you purchase your album templates, all of our album templates will come with a black background and a white background and they'll come as full spreads and a single page. So depending on the type of uh, company you use and how they require you to um, upload your files, will determine um, you know, which album you choose, if it's a full spread or if it's the page. So um, the thing that I love about Lightroom is that when you are looking at the album templates, you can easily just scroll really fast over these and see if there's anything that you like. Um, You'll notice you have a lot of options, and so and you can manipulate things once they're in once you um, like have that template open. So okay, so what you're gonna do is once you get your uh, templates downloaded, you're gonna come right here to where it says Template Browser. And you're going to right click while holding down the Control key and click New Folder, and you're gonna name it 20 by 10. 10 by 10 white, 10 by 10 black, whatever it is that you purchased, just so you know what it is that you're looking at when you're browsing these templates. <clears throat> so name it 10 by 10 um, template, however you want to name it. And then it'll show up here. And then you select it, and again, holding down the control key, click, click it, and click import. And then you'll navigate to wherever your templates downloaded, be it your desktop, your downloads, wherever you know you download stuff from the internet. And then you'll just select all of those and you'll hit import. And all those templates will show up right there. So another thing that we do, and, and again, this all depends on how you do your client album proofing. For us, the way that we do it is our families and our bridals and engagements. They don't pick their images. We just pick them however we feel the story goes best. And then we will send them send them the design and they get one set of revisions for free. And our wedding clients, they choose their images. We design, we send it to them for approval, and then they get one set of revisions for free. Any set of revisions after that, we charge for. And so, so and most of the time, our clients don't make a lot of changes. Um, sometimes they're just moving around family photos, um, stuff like that, really simple changes. So it's not anything dramatic. Um, but we, for time purposes, we like to have these templates saved so then we can come back in and just easily change those and not have to worry about trying to recreate the template, you know, lick through all of those templates and find the one that we were using before and then add the pictures and then save it again. So we just save these ahead of like we save them as we create them <clears throat> so what you're gonna want to do is to do that go to your collections here and click the little plus sign and click create collection set and you'll make sure you unclick inside a collection set and you'll name it 2013 client albums um, but that's already used so once I have that name done I have all my clients inside of there. So I'll do Ryan and Katie album. And then you can click inside a collection and you'll notice you'll have all these options. So again, I'll make sure I choose 2013 client albums and I hit create. And you'll notice oh, I put it into the client images. 
that's fine. I'll just drag it up there. So now it's under 2013 client albums. So now I'll come down here to my images and I have their images here and I will select some images and the glory of this, these templates is that they're drag and drop. So I'll just come right here and drag it in there. Now let's say you want this image to be um, more centered or however you want it or like let's say he's right on the edge and so he's chopped off. You can use your command key on a Mac or an alt key on the PC I believe it is and hold it down and then move your mouse inside there and you can move that picture around. So okay so we have that and so what I'll go ahead and do is create a saved print. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is spread one and then I'm going to go ahead and click Ryan and Katie and I have client albums, Ryan and Katie's album. And then you can do this. So if you do this, it'll only include the used photos. And that's what I do just so I know like how many images are on that spread. Um, and then also I don't see 175, 175, 175, like when I like 50 times underneath the Ryan and Katie album, uh, collection album. So, um, you'll see what, what it does. So spread one, hit create. So now you'll see right here, spread one. So now let's say that they come back and they're like, Oh, like I super love that one image on the left, but I'm not sure about that image on the right. You could easily come in and change it out. And then again, hit create safe print and Make sure you're underneath the right collection and go Ryan and Katie's album and do spread two or rename it spread one or whichever. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit next step. Okay, so this is what we do. So we have this. Okay, so now I'll come back here and you'll notice that on these pictures, there's these little like black boxes and that lets you know that it's inside of a collection. And so you know that you've used the image at that point. However, that's not really like super visible to me. And so I'll go ahead and just select that image and hit the number six and it'll flag it red. And so then I know that I've used those images. So just when I'm scrolling through here, creating the album, um, cause sometimes I do jump back and forth, um, with detail shots and stuff like that. Um, that way I won't forget that I've used that image. So then we'll come back up here. And let's pick another page. Let's do, let's see. Oh, I like this one. Just nice, simple, um, nice, simple one. So we have this drag and drop. You can move the image around. Oh, nope. It's a full size. So you don't, you can't move that at all. So, um, let's see. So I like that. So let's say we're going to keep that. However, I wouldn't recommend it because if you notice where um, their face is lying on a 20 by 10 album, 10 being the direct center, they're going to be cut off right there. So actually there was another one that was just like this. So if we took that and put it in there, that's a much better place for that image. So I'll go ahead and create a saved print. So I'll say spread two. And I'll make sure that it is under their album and click create. So now we have spread one and spread two. And so now you just keep going through that process to create these albums. And so, um, on that one was used. So hit six and I know that it's been used. So let's go like, I like this one. We're very basic and, um, I guess maybe boring with our album design. Um, I like the couples to be the focus. I don't like a lot of frill and, um, like just a lot of busyness in our album designs. So see this one is cutting off his face. And so if you hit the command button, just drag that over till it's perfect. Okay. And then I'll hit create saved print and go under Ryan and Katie album and go spread three and then hit create. So now you've got spread one, spread two, spread three. Now, obviously I'm jumping through the images and that's not how I would actually create the album, but this is just for, um, uh, showing you. 
Um, okay, so let's say I super love that. So I have all these spreads, and I'm like, ooh, I love the way this album looks. Now I've got to save them, okay? So let's come over here. So you click spread one, and I click print file, and then desktop, and I'll, or wherever you save your albums. Um, we have inside of our client uh, folders on our hard drives, we have an album file, like an album folder. And so that's where I would actually um, save those. But let's say uh, Ryan and Katie album. Click create. And then I'm going to save it as spread one. Save. And make sure when you save it that this print to is done as a JPEG file. And so it doesn't actually print to a printer. Um, and make sure it's at 300 and srgb or whatever the specifications for your album company are so then i'll come over here click spread to print to file and now it's already going to be in that folder and so what i'll do actually to make it go faster is i'll type spread and then a space and then command c or con uh, control c or uh, to copy and spread to then click save Spread three, print to file, spread three. And you'll go through your album and do that. And then you have those JPEGs. And then for us, what we will do from there is upload them to a client proofing site where the clients will proof them and let us know whether or not that they like the albums. Um, and then if they want to make any changes, the glory of this is that I have these saved. So now I don't have to start over again. So let's say that the clients are like, oh my gosh, I super love that image on the left, um, but I just want it maybe just a little bit bigger, um, you know, just because the photo itself is a horizontal photo and I want a little bit more of the temple in the background, um, you know, or, or whatever the request is. So I'll come up here to spread one, and now I can start, all, I don't have to start all over again. So if I want to alter this template, if you want to keep the proportions exactly as they are, you hold down the shift key and you can drag um, and make the photo bigger or smaller, whichever you want. Now, but let's say um, they just want it just a little bit wider, so, so not as tall as it is wide. So you can just drag the one side like this, and then you've got a completely different template. And then again, you can hold down the command button and move the picture up and down, like however you want. So let's say that that's the change that they wanted. They just wanted the picture a little bit bigger. You can also, you know, make it bigger up here to get more of the photo or, you know, you can get all kinds of creative if you want, but you know, I would suggest not chopping off heads, but you know, hey, um, and just however you want um, to make the template. So, and then you can just adjust the photo um, with the size that you make it. So that is how you can modify any and all of these templates. You can do it to pretty much anything. So you can make this one a full spread um, or just a little bit short. You could take this and make this one just a little bit bigger. You're like, oh, I like that, but just a little bit bigger. You know, I love that. And let's say that you find yourself using one template a lot um, like this, but maybe you make it just a little bit bigger. Then you can come right here, come over here and click the plus sign and you can save it. And so you can save it into a new folder like your personal templates or you can um, uh, name it my personal templates, click create and then name it my templates or whatever you want to name it. And then hit create and now you'll see it says my personal templates and there it is and so if you find yourself doing you know making a lot of changes or making a, a change specifically to one template all the time or to make it a little bit bigger or whatever obviously like our goal in this is to help speed up your workflow and so definitely you know save that if you want to um, to save yourself the time so I hope that this has helped and I hope that this will help speed up your workflow like it has ours we absolutely love this and I can't imagine designing albums any other way now. So